there was a time I didn't know I was creative. I was, my degree's in economics, I was a financial analyst and making good money and very miserable. And it was literally like a midlife crisis. I had this 10 year plan of a job that I didn't like and 9-11 um, happened and it just turned my life upside down because I was like, what if I don't have 10 years? So it was this existential crisis where every day I was faced with, if this is my last day, would I want to be here? And the answer was no. And it was the discovery of the inside that helped me find my way. I call myself a willing artist because at the time I would have never imagined I was an artist. And so willing because whatever I'm inspired to do, whether it's filmmaking, I've done plays, written poetry, I just allow the inspiration to come through me in whatever form it takes. I just love people and I love people's stories. I really like learning from people's lives. Those are some of the things that inspire my storytelling. Creating something takes a, a lot of energy <laughs> and time and yeah, my, my passion is the thread that, that keeps that momentum going uh, within me. I think one of the other things that ties all my work together and my connection is like for it to have heart and authenticity. And that's what most artists and storytellers are after is in the specific story you're telling for it to have a universal um, appeal and connection that I think comes from being truthful. The advice I would give to people that are feeling in a rut is to not give up hope that their angst or their frustration or their just being unsettled with how things are, that that feeling is justified, and not to numb it or to minimize it, and to honor that there's a part of you that's letting you know that there's more, or that there's another path possibly that would be more fulfilling, and to start exploring it.